How's it going everybody? How is everyone doing? I hope everyone is doing great. I'm excited. I'm excited. Thanks to eRides, I have been given the chance to test out their new one of their new pedals. This one is the Wolverine. So this is the eRides Honeycomb removable pedals, codename Wolverine. The eRides two-piece honeycomb spike pedals are made out of 6061 aluminum, the same alloy material used by Apple iPhones. The eRides honeycomb pedals are CNC cut, adjustable incline with heel and toe assist. The weight is 1.75 kilograms for all models except the KS22. So I did have the option to choose between the Wolverine and the Iron Man. I didn't really like the Iron Man too much because my wheel is black and uh, I just thought it was not a good combination in terms of co uh, color and contrast. But what we got over here is awesome. If you look, my gear has yellow um, accents, black, right? Black wheel, black pedal with yellow accent. It fits perfectly. And it's very subtle. It's made of aluminum. It's very heavy. It feels very rich, very expensive. Obviously, Bigode and other companies now have their own models of uh, honeycombs, but this one, holy smokes. I think the most important thing for me regarding this is how high off the ground it is. That's the first thing I experienced was how high off the ground it is. So the second thing that got me right away is how sticky it is because of the spike, you know, that's in the pedal. I was mostly concerned of other spike pedals because I thought it would be a little too sharp for my, you know, shoes. But, and I didn't want to spend money and find that out the hard way. But this one, it's spiked, but it's not sharp. It's actually t uh, flat, a little bit flat um, off the, uh, the top. It's a little tapered, but it's flat. And it seems like even on that flat surface at the top, there are some spikes or some uh, ridges to really make it sticky. And I feel like I'm literally, not Wolverine, I feel like I'm Spider-Man because the more I, I move my foot off of it, I can feel it like trying to hold me back, like, like glue almost. It's beautiful. And another thing I was concerned about was um, whether or not I would be able to move my foot left and right and stuff like that because I like to adjust a lot given any situation that may arise. I feel the more I ride with it, the more I'll get used to it but it's definitely, definitely sturdy. So one of the things <clears throat> to me that is very beneficial when your foot is not entirely in, like if your foot is right here, I don't have to worry about it slipping off. That's awesome. Obvi that's a given, but for me, it's my first time, so give me a break, guys. But you know, I like to have my foot all the way in because the pedals are usually, you know, slippery, but this, I don't have to worry about it. I really gotta give it to E-Rides for manufacturing this amazing piece of metal. Now, it's three different pieces. So if you look right here, you have screws that you can just, you know, unscrew, take this off, take this off, it's up to you. I personally like it how it is. It's rare for me to like something as it comes, but I love it as it comes. Another thing is, it's it literally, it has some type of curve to it. The pedal itself is flat, but these two pieces, give it that curved um, arch. So that is very cool, very cool indeed. And it's practical. It's interesting because most pedals are very flat. So if you're someone who does long distance and stuff like that, or even short distances, but you end up being on the wheel most of that short distance, meaning there are no, there's not a lot of stoplights and stuff. Um, this can also help with foot fatigue. Because what happens is because of the arch, I'm not sure how your foot is designed, but because of the arch, your foot can press into that little gap and give you a little bit of um, uh, comfort, if you will, versus a flat pedal that gives you no comfort, once again, based on how your foot is designed. Wow, I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's go take it for a quick spin. Okay, so I know some of you are wondering, did I put this the wrong way? No. You can put this however you want. So if you look, my pads, have this cut right here. This line right here is from my other pedal that happened to like kind of press it in. So when I saw this groove, I said, perfect. Let me just put it in this direction so it doesn't uh, go further up in pressing in my, um, my front pads. So this is kind of helpful. But yeah, you can put it however you want. You can put this side facing forward, this side facing backwards, totally up to you. All right guys, so I just wanna quickly demonstrate what I love most about this pedal. 
is the pedal height. Before, if I did this, I would be scratching right now. I literally would be scraping the ground right now. But no scraping because it's angled. And this is one thing I loved about the MSP uh, is how angled it was. Look at this, man. Not a single scratch. Oh my gosh. What? I definitely get a lot of confidence riding right now because of this. I'm not worried about carving. I can carve and not worry about it. Woo! You know, because I know I'm not gonna hit. I'm not, I'm not gonna hit the, the ground. It's so great, oh my gosh. Obviously I can scratch it if I want, but I really have to try. Holy moly, this is beautiful. This is, this is beautiful, guys. This is great. This is a major upgrade for me, personally. Let's see how it is sitting. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I feel, what do I feel? I feel stability, obviously. I feel I'm stuck in, like I'm not gonna fall off or slide at all. All right, so that's fantastic. I can still move my feet, so that's good. I was uh, concerned about that. That was one of my main concerns, is not being able to move my feet around or my foot around. So let's see, this one is off. This one's off. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Woo, woo, woo. So back on. Awesome. Working great. Working great. It's looking great, guys. Companies don't really release bling for their wheels. I think the closest wheel to looking blingy was the KS22. Oh, KS20. Um, this piece of metal right here looks very blingy. So I'm actually concerned if I should be riding with this because it looks so good. Um, someone might not know what it is and just might be attracted to the beautiful colors. So I don't know, thoughts, thoughts. But yeah, this is, this is great. This is fantastic. It's good. Maneuverability, look, moving great. Let's do a little bit of maneuvering here. There's grass here, so you gotta be careful. Woo! All right, left, right, left, right. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. The, oh. You know, it's just one less thing to worry about. Slipping. The arch in the pedal, due to the two yellow pieces from the front and the back, it makes it less strenuous. So this is how it looks, guys, in the daytime. Holy moly. Like, literally, this thing looks blingy. Like, the edges, this edge right here, it's literally shining in your face, man. Like, it's like beautiful. It looks like a piece of jewelry. That's worrisome, because it looks good. So, haha, <laughs> I'm excited because, like I said uh, earlier, it's just, it's a great feeling when you buy a product or get a product and it works properly with your current setup. So, my pads is custom and I thought I had to do a lot of adjustments. Nope, it's perfect. See, look at this, woo, look at that. This is, this is sharp, sharp, sharp. Oh, scrape, but that's because that's really deep. So you can scrape pretty much any wheel, but if we do a normal turn, normal sharp turn, this is a sh sharp area to turn around. All right, let's do this one. <sighs> Woo. Oh gosh, I'm a little stiff. I need to be less stiff with my turns. Nice, good, good, good. That was a good turn. That was a good turn. Let's turn right here. Right here. Do it. Oh, wow. I guess sharp turns you will scrape. Damn. There's no pedal you can't scrape. <laughs> Let's turn right here. All right. That's good. Right here. How about here? How about here? Just do like quick, unexpected turns. Like right here. Oh, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Oh, yes. There you go. So, yeah. So, this is sharp. How about this one? Oh, so yeah, if the turn is sharp, like right here, obviously, you're gonna scrape it. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't be able to do that before. That's for sure. If 
even if the sand causes you to fall, slipping is not an issue because you're stuck. So it, like I said, man, if you can eliminate any type of concern with your riding where stability is concerned. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, you missed it. You missed it. Oh yeah, love it. No, I've never brought the EXN off-roading. Whoa, whoa. Woo. Never, this is the first time bringing the EXN off-roading. But these pebbles. Oh, I need more. Yo, why is this so bouncy? Oh shoot, oh. Woo, yeah. Oh my gosh, I would never try this with my regular pedals on an EXN. Maybe on my other wheels, but not this one. Definitely not. Holy freak. If I were to bring this thing off-roading on a regular, the only thing I'd have to change uh, is the tire, obviously. Woohoo! Yes! Yo! I can't get enough of this confidence. Well, I don't want to dirty my pedal, dude. So what I was going to do was take dust and just put it on here. But it looks so clean, man. I, I, nah, I'm not going to do it. Sorry. Let's go for, let's go for a ride. Holy moly. What the? Wow. Hey, look at that, look at that. Whoa! Oh my gosh, just... This, this is crazy. And I also feel like I'm flying because it's so high off the ground. Man, I felt like I bought a new wheel. Really thank e rides for sending this to me. Highly recommended. It's definitely worth it for a little bit more comfort, a little bit more stability, a lot more control. Priceless. Because I'm already a great rider. This just made me 10 times better. Holy moly. Wow. Why am I learning these things slowly? I'm sure a lot of you guys already mentioned this. I'm really late to the party. <sighs> All right, so I took a break from riding from the sun. But guys, holy moly. I mean, just look at it, no? Next to some nice stream here. Beautiful area. Well manufactured, if you will, because this is not natural. Man, look how clear the water is. Makes you wanna, makes you wanna drink it. I would say the angle is about, I don't know, maybe 35, 35 degrees. I could measure it right now, but it really looks steep. It looks extremely steep. Let me see if I can show you guys. Love it. Look how high it is off the ground. Freaking A, man. Those scrapes is literally from me trying. Okay? This is from me trying. So what I can say overall is that I felt like I unlocked an ability. Okay? Because if you end up taking these out, you'll pretty much have these, these rivets. So it'll end up being like smooth again. But at least you'll have those on the outer part of the pedal, which helps a lot too. E-Rides, really appreciate this. Check out E-Rides, guys. You know, I'm very used to riding my high-speed and torque, mostly my high-speed MSP. This might be my normal reel now. Like, I, I pretty much kept this thing inside for a long time, mostly because of the knobby tire and how low the pedals were. So now that I've fixed both of that, this is probably gonna be my normal wheel now. Now I want it on all the wheels. Okay, all the flat pedal wheels, forget about that. I don't like this insecurity, you know? This is very secure, extremely secure. And again, this is not unlike any other spike pedal wheels. The main difference between this pedal, this spike pedal versus others, is the arch because of the two yellow pieces added here. 
okay? So, guys, it was a pleasure. Happy riding. I'm sweating like crazy. Can't wait to ride back, but see you in the next one. Sensation! Sensation!